Good afternoon or good evening everyone, shall I say. It's a glorious, uh, sunny, well, the suns are starting to go down, uh, Sunday evening. Uh, but we've had a lovely day, lovely blue skies. Now it is rather on the cold side, which I can't expect it for this time of the year. Uh, but it's dry, which is which is always nice. Uh, we're going to start now, we're going to feed the suckler cows we have here in the yard. So before we get going on that, uh, I just want to show you the diet feeder. This is the, the one that we done uh, a couple of bits of repairs to the door on earlier in the year and it is it's ready to go. So uh, anybody who has any interest in the diet feeder, uh, this would be an ideal one if you are uh, looking for one that you just hitch into and put straight to work. Uh, good diet feeder. Now they're not suitable for bales. Uh, there's no point buying it if you wanted to put round bales in it. But pit silage. You know, we'll mix up a couple of ton, two and a half ton of pit silage. Uh, this is your machine, no problem at all. Uh, as I say, we've done a bit of work to the door of it. Uh, that's why we stopped using it. Uh, the door had went a little bit weak because it hadn't been relined. The rest of either we had it relined shortly before we stopped using it. We didn't line the door and the door, a bit of a twist come on it. So we had to take the door off. Got a whole new piece made up for the door, stronger than what it was originally. It's now in and, in and onto it. Uh, we've put a few new tips on some of the blades. There's a set of eight blades on it, so uh, knives, or I say, it'll chop up the silage nicely. Uh, and then shoot on it as well. Everything's working. Uh, there's a weight cell on it uh, where it'll, uh, uh, it, it weighs the silage as it's going in. That's all in working order. Lights are working. Everything works on this feeder. So uh, if you're looking for a, a reasonably priced diet feeder, give me a shout. Send me a message on either Facebook or on Instagram and uh, yeah, see if the price of it suits you and yeah, I'll try and sell it to you if you're interested in it. So that is the Abbey Diet Feeder. So as I say, what we're going to do this evening is we're going to get the diet feeder out. Uh, we're going to mix a bit of silage in it and feed our cows that's back here in the yard. Uh, we'll get going at that now, I'll get the drone up, try and make a bit of footage as I'm doing it and see how we get on. So, voiceover. I'm going to continue with these voiceovers. I'm um, still getting good feedback uh, about the voiceovers. People seem to like them more so than uh, sticking up some kind of dancing music. So, as I say, I'm going to keep going with them for now uh, until people start saying that they're sick listening to me and we'll go back to the dancing music. Uh, so, you seen I put the minerals into the bucket there just before we uh, went to the, the teleport of footage. Uh, I've just tipped it in now to the, tipped it into the diet feeder. And I'm heading off down the yard. I'm going to put some silage in first. Now, this drone footage, or taking a bit of drone footage around the yard, is very stressful because the wrong manoeuvre and you're going to be into a shed and there's going to be a quite expensive drone and bits on the ground. So uh, it is stressful. So you can see I am kind of going slow enough here when, uh, when, when I'm going down to get the silage. Um... Speaking of the silage, you can see that there's not that much of it left in the pit. Uh, pit at this stage now, we're down to the last. There's one, gra uh, well, I call it a grabs width uh, left. So what I'm doing is I'm just digging it out now at this point because I could use the grab, but if I put the grab on and start to dig it out, what happens is that the, the front blade on the grab ends up that it's either close to or touching or rubbing off the wall and I could blunt it. So a wee bit of manhandling with, with the teleporter, if you like, knocks a bit of silage on the ground. You can scoop it up and take it up and drop, drop it into the, the feeder. So that's what I'm doing here at the minute. The grab, incidentally, we've had it since 2007, and it may have gotten sharpened once, but uh, it it the blade is very good in it. The blade is now, we've, we've, we've minded it quite well, uh, the grab has never gotten abused and it works very very well it's a woods grab so uh, yeah that's why we're, we're trying to save it as much as we can so just dropping the first bit of silage in here now 
uh, slowly dropping it in just in case. You, you never want it to all come out of the one piece that maybe you would uh, do any harm to the diet feeder, uh, especially when dropping in. Like, there's probably, I think there was about five fifty or 600 kilos of silage uh, in that pocket full, roughly. So, um, yeah, like I say, you don't want to put it all in at once. Uh, next up now, we go for a little bit of meal. It's some of the 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 oatmeal um byproduct which is it's more or less just a, a fibre. Uh, you can see now it's very dusty when you put it in. It's what causes all the dust on the the machinery. You can imagine on the wet day where uh, maybe it's quite windy and it's blown straight back into the teleporter. It just destroys it so you end up having to wash it down quite regular in the winter time. Um next up we're going for a little bit of the the it's the another byproduct. It's the the byproduct of uh, bio making, which comes in from the UK, and just a little bit of that in. That's really all that they get now: silage, uh, minerals, and those two products. So, yeah, there, we there is other times where we add uh, some other feeds uh, or um, the likes of meal and that, but we'll we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later on in the video. Um, now at this point, I think I've transferred over into the tractor I have uh, and I'm just going to start to go and discharge out the feed uh, so I'm just popping off the PTO and selecting gear and driving on uh, yeah I think what I'll do now is I have a little bit of footage of inside in the shed uh, we'll move over the diet you can watch me discharging it out uh, with normal sound and then I'll come back and I'll voice over then the last little bit just as we we get parked up and ready to go again so uh yeah slowly going into the shed here from uh just keeping over tight to one side and probably watching the drone at the same time <laughs> but yeah there we are now we're just pulled on in so we'll go to the discharging that's us where we've discharged everything out to the cows and i'm just going to go around just to it's more or less do a u-turn here and strip back up the yard um this is the first time really i've used this drone in this kind of low light conditions and i have to say i'm quite impressed with it uh so i'm looking forward to next year maybe uh, at busier times of the year whether it's harvest or silaging or mowing uh, to be able to use this drone, maybe another way sometimes you could be working late enough just to get a field finished or something done. Uh, it'll be nice to, to use it then and get a bit of footage uh, late at night. Um, yes, yeah, so that's really this part of the video more or less done. I'm just going to pull into position. We still have all the other cattle to feed at this point. Um, but what we'll do is now we'll, we'll, we'll head over to the last part of the video where I just talk about the cow shed here, uh, about the feed that the cows will be moved on to uh, towards the end of the uh, their 
before the calf and after the calf and that. So we'll move on to that now. All right, so finished feeding now, about an hour and a half. You can see the cows uh, are all quite settled and still still eating a little bit. Uh, they're, what they're doing is now they're sorting through it, looking for an odd potato that they might see here and there. Uh, yeah, they'll get one or two and they'll not be happy. And they're fairly sure that there's none left. Uh, they'll push. They, they usually stop. Uh, they'll eat then whatever they have in front of them. They'll have pushed a little bit out. You can see the way they've pushed it out further than what they can reach. In the morning then, come along, just shovel it all back in. Uh, they'll then eat most of it then again tomorrow. They might have another look for a few potatoes in the morning again. They have the whole routine that they do. Tomorrow evening then, there'll be a small amount. Brush it in before you start feeding. By the time then you start to discharge feed, it'll all be gone. So, just the way it works out. But, yeah, they're, they're doing well. And I've already talked about uh, what I put into the, the feed itself uh, in the voiceover. The only time that changes is sometimes we might add a bit of straw depending on the grass and, or silage that they're eating uh, the silage maybe if it was running through them a little bit uh, or it was leaving them a little bit loose we'd add a little bit of straw just fibre wise to tighten them up and that's one reason the other reason then too for calving if you see that there's too much condition on them the silage is too good high, the quality is too high uh, they might start to put on too much condition if that happens uh, add some straw onto it that just helps the pull back the condition a little bit off them so uh, that's really the only thing, time we change it. It more or less stays fairly static right up until the calf. Once then they've calved, there's protein and an extra, uh, some barley added to it just to help the cows, help the milk, and yeah, that's really it. Um, but yeah, I suppose you'd be wondering why don't you ever put feeding boxes here? We have feeding boxes here. Uh, you can see some of the, the squares is here still in the ground. Uh, the shed was predominantly used for Weanlands back before we started the sucklers and the feeding boxes were well wide enough for the Weanlands but once we started with the cows and uh, you weren't able to just put enough silage in the feeding box to last the whole day it meant you were having to come back in the next morning put the silage out and we found even at certain times of the year that wouldn't even be enough you'd have to come back in again maybe at three o'clock and put more silage out so this way here we can put the right amount of silage out Toss it in a couple of times a day and it all works out and everybody's happy. So. Yeah, but if we ever wanted to, we could put the, the feed boxes back. Uh, all the steel walk is here, they're all down along the wall, you can see them right down. Covered in cobwebs, uh, it's really a matter of slot them all back in, clean out the boxes, slot them in, uh, buy some new planks. We'd need uh, nine new planks, a couple of pieces at the end, the feeding boxes were all back installed. But unless we have a change of system um, and the cows are no longer in the shed, that's not going to happen, you know, so, uh, yeah, it'll continue on the way it is for now. Um, but that's really it for today's video. I suppose uh, I'll tell you what's coming up in the next video. I'll have a video up, I'd say, on Tuesday evening. Uh, that will be of a few different things. A uh, busy day tomorrow, so I'm going to collect maize meal in the morning. I'll probably take the 6-9 on that run. Uh, come back from there, I will then have uh, the low loader on the tractor as well, the new low loader. We have to take bales back uh, to the cows in the other yard too. And I'll get a bit of footage of all that, maybe feeding the cows down there too. So, um, the other thing I have as well, I've Olight have sent me out a light that I have a review to do. So that'll be up on, and that'll be in Tuesday's video too. And there'll be details of a new flash sale they've, uh, uh, coming up then uh, for all over the, towards the end of the week and the weekend for Black Friday. So uh, just watch out for that too. So that's it. Uh, as always, if you haven't sub uh, subscribed, don't forget the sub button. It costs you absolutely nothing. Get down there, hit the sub button, ring the little bell beside it. Gives you notification every time I post a video. Leave a like on the video if you like this video. Comment down below. We'll see you on Tuesday.